Shalom. Uh, praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the Lord, a great millstone. The title of this uh, video will be uh, something like, You Can't Buy, You Can't Buy the Kingdom or the Spirit. So um, I'm in the book of Acts, it's chapter 8, and I'm going to start at um, um, verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Yahweh shot unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in the city, but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria. And that's, and that's going off. That's against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. That's against the law. All right, it says, giving out that himself was some great one, <clears throat> to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And to him they have regard, because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. And for y'all that don't know, I'm saying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name. Bashem is in the name. And then Yahweh Shah is his son name. All right, so when I see God, I say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because those are the true names. Verse 12 says, But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of Yahweh, Washim Yahweh Shah, in the name of Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon believed, Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria, that Samaria had received the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, they sent unto the they, Salaki, or excuse me, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw, and this is this, a uh, main focus of the lesson, this is the point right here. And when Simon saw that through laying on, the, on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money. All right, so he's saying, Simon, seeing them, uh, he was seeing the miracles being done. So he offered money, says, saying, give me also this power that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. So Simon, he he's thinking that he can he can just buy the Spirit. He just, he's thinking he can buy something that's given of the uh, is given from the Lord, which you can't do that, man. You can't you can't just you can't use uh you can't just go to the Heavenly Father and oh I got money, so uh. uh uh, I'll give you money for the spirit. Or I, I'll give you money for the kingdom. It, that that don't work like that, man. You can't you can't buy the spirit. You can't buy it, and you can't buy yourself into the kingdom. Verse twenty says, "But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of Yahweh by Hashem Shah may be purchased with money." All right, because the the uh, spirit is 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 a gift from the Lord, you know. The Holy Spirit is a gift from the Lord, man. And you can't, you can't just, you can't go around and, and that's not something you can buy. You can't just take your money and buy the Spirit, man. It just has to be given from the Heavenly Father. Verse twenty one says, "Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of Yahweh. Repent, therefore, of this, uh, of this thy wickedness, and pray, Yahweh Bashem Shai that perhaps the thought of thy heart may be forgiven thee. 
All right. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. All right. So it was a quick video. Uh, it was just, you know, a lesson to, you know, let people know you can't you can't buy your way into the kingdom and you can't you can't buy uh you know the spiritual gifts of the lord man your money this money this you know this this wicked money esau give us it is it's nothing man you you can't buy anything from the heavenly father with that money man go to proverbs you know scripture is brought out a lot uh, Proverbs 11 and 4 it says riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. All right. So even when hey, if the Lord fed up with you and you, he finna take you out, you're not going to be able to uh, pull some money out your pocket and, and say, oh, Lord, you know, I got some money. Don't kill me. No, nah, man. Your money means nothing to the Lord, man. So that's why we need mercy. You know, we need to be trying to serve the Lord uh, the best we can. You know, that's why we need Yahweh Shai. We need forgiveness. You know, we got to make sure we write with Yahweh Shai. All right. So I'm going to close out with that. Giving all praise to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai again. Shalom. I, uh, one more scripture I want to bring out. Second Peter chapter 3. And... Verse 9 says, the, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and that which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. All right. So everything is going to get burnt up when the, the Lord makes his return. Okay. So that, that goes for money, you know, uh, whatever people uh, value today. That's carnal. Everything gonna be burnt up, man. So, you know, you, you definitely if every if things like money, everything else, you know, gonna get burnt up. Why would you think your money is important? The Lord's gonna burn all those things up, man. All right, and I. If I'm not mistaken, there's a scripture in, uh, I believe, it's the book of Sirach. It, it speaks on how um, when when we pass, you know, we pass on, we give up the spirit. Our, you know, our, our so-called riches, our money, things we work for, gets left behind for somebody else, man. So, you know, none of these things matter. You're not going to be able to use money to, to uh, get into the kingdom, you know. You're not going to be able to use money for salvation when the Lord uh, is fed up with you, man. You're not going to be able to buy his forgiveness, his His spirit, you know, the faith, the mercy. You know, you're not going to be able to buy those things, man. It's, it's the gift of the Lord. It's, it's just his, it's his mercy. You know, the, the Lord does what he pleases. 